Hello everyone. So SBI has released a notification for online return test. And here you can see a tentative date for online return test that is 23rd of November. So we have just 10 days are remaining now for the exam and the syllabus is huge, right? And I already discussed in my previous videos like how to prepare for this exam. What is the exam pattern? So you can watch my previous video regarding SBI SO exam. Okay, so I will just provide the link in the description. You can just uh, go through that. But how to plan our preparation for the next 10 days? That is what I am going to discuss in this particular video. Okay, so I hope everyone has gone through the syllabus and they know the exam pattern. This quant reasoning and English is just a qualifying in nature. So for this purpose, you can just refer to a previous SBI SO or IBPS SO PO exams. Okay, so you can just practice those previous year questions of SBI and IBPS SO and PO exams for quant reasoning and English part. Okay, so that will be uh, more than enough for this. Uh, exam and you can expect similar type of question in this exam as well okay so focus on previous year questions of ibps and sbi po and so exam okay now coming back to our uh, main part that is general it knowledge okay so based on this particular score only they are going to call us for the next round so those who are following me i already provided the notes for all the topics that is there in our syllabus so you can just refer to that so i will show you how to prepare for the next uh, 10 days so this is about the notification part so date for the online return test is 23rd of november okay now if you have visited my this website pushwara.com and you can scroll down here here if you observe this general it knowledge sbso 2024 notes okay it is for free so you can download the notes for free and you can start your preparation right so if i just go through this particular course here just click on continue and you can enroll in the course so here we have four sections in our general it knowledge uh, syllabus right so i will start with the software development part first how to prepare for this so the first thing is that you have to go to the notes okay i have prepared this particular notes considering that you have already gone through the this particular topics in your semester okay so if you observe dbms sql data structures part oops concept software engineering topics computer network operating system so so all these topics all the subjects we have learned in our in our engineering so considering that i have prepared the notes okay so first we'll discuss about the software development so first you can download the notes and you can start your preparation here once you have downloaded the notes for dbms and data structures part you have to practice previous year gate CSE question okay so there are one mark question you can practice those questions from these particular topics so just take the syllabus of SBI SO exam for DBMS SQL and the data structures part and try to find out the questions related to that in your previous gate exams okay and focus more on one marker question okay not a two marks because two marks will be a lengthy uh, question you can also expect numerical type of question in the exam but they will not ask much complex exam because that because time constraint is there so you have to solve 60 question in 75 minutes so time constraint is there so you can expect a numerical but not of that gate level exam okay but so i will suggest you to go through a previous year gate question that is one marker question okay along with this if you can find out the previous year isro question so isro used to conduct the exam for scientists b post for computer science for CSE people so you can just refer to those ISRO previous year questions and based on our syllabus try to practice those questions okay so you can expect similar type of question in SBI SO exam as well for DBMS for OOPS for data structures part even for software engineering uh, part as well okay so this is about the software development and for other topics like web development and other important topics you can just uh, focus on my notes because we don't have enough time so what are the extra topics we have along with this core subject so you can just refer to this note so that will be uh, good enough because we don't have much time uh, remaining now so this is about the software development now about the infra support so here you can see about the infra support this is more operating a system syllabus 
So you can also refer to a previous year gate question. That is one marker question for this particular topic. Okay. So just take the SBI SO syllabus for infra support and just try to solve the previous year gate question for operating system. Okay. So just compare the topics and solve one marker question. And you can just go through the notes for your uh, revision purpose. Okay. Now what about networking? So similarly, what we have done for infra support. So same we have to do for networking as well. You can just go through the notes, revise the concept. Then try to solve the gate previous year questions for computer networks. Okay. So take the syllabus of SPISO exam and try to find out the similar type of question in your uh, gate previous year questions. Okay. So this is about the software development part, infra support and networking notes plus previous year gate questions plus ISRO exam questions. Okay. So this thing you have to do. Then coming back to this cloud computing part. So for cloud computing part, there is no topic in a gate or even ISRO. ISRO asks some few questions based on cloud computing, but uh, not in depth or not that much uh, focus on cloud computing. Okay. So we can just go through these notes that will be uh, more than enough for cloud computing. Specifically, this first cloud computing PDF. So I have provided all the notes here. So you can see. So you can simply download this, and here you can see. This 31 pages are there. So uh, please uh, go through all the notes. So this is very important. Okay. Once you have gone through cloud computing, then you can just go through AWS Azure, Google Cloud comparison and AWS overview. So this is an optional part. If you have gone through this much, so that will be more than enough. You can skip this part because we don't have enough time now. Okay. But you have already gone through this AWS overview, then you can simply again go through it once. Okay. But the first thing is that you have to go through cloud computing first this particular pdf and then you can go through a remaining one so i will suggest you to revise this cloud computing pdf multiple times and this remaining one one or two times that will be a more than enough or even you can make a notes uh, your handwritten notes for these particular uh, topics right so that will be a uh, good enough but focus more on the first pdf okay so this is about how to prepare for sbso exam for the next 10 days okay so this is a plan for next 10 days take one topic go to the notes then try to solve the previous year gate csc question or iso uh, questions right and for the topics like cloud computing and other important topics and few topics in infra support and networking where we don't have a gate previous year question or iso exam questions so for those topics you can just refer to my uh, test series so I, so I already have a test series for this particular uh, exam so here you can see general id knowledge uh, 24 test series it is just for 400 you can get this at just 300 rupees so you can use the coupon code sbi 100 to get this as just 300 rupees right so click on buy course for 400 and you can apply the code here that is sbi 100 sbi 100 and here you can see the code will get applied so you will get 100 rupees discount for this particular test series so in 300 rupees you are going to get five full test full test it is only for the it knowledge not for the aptitude part or reasoning part it is just for the general it knowledge so here you can see a full test five tests will be there so it is of 60 questions 75 minutes whatever there is in the pattern so we are going to follow that pattern only so five full test is there plus there are a few topic wise tests as well. For cloud computing, I have added three tests. For software development, I have added three tests. Similarly, for networking, also I have added the two tests. I am going to add the two tests for infra support as well. So you can just go through that. And whatever the notes, you cannot download it here. For example, this data structure, software engineering, you can only watch this notes or you can only view this PDF on the website. If you want to download this, you can simply go to the this particular test series course and here you can see notes section you can download all the notes from this particular section okay so you can download all the notes from here okay so i will suggest you to take this test series it is more about the time management part see even if you know all the 60 questions you can solve those 60 questions if i give you two hours time but how to solve those 60 questions in 75 minutes that is the key point here okay so time constraint make this exam difficult so we have to practice for that for time management part because 60 questions 75 minutes it's a difficult task even if we know all the 60 questions 
it is very difficult to manage the time okay because sometimes we will spend too much time on one question because we know that we feel that i can solve this type of question okay but it will take you a lot of time so how to manage the time during the exam so this test series is going to help you in that and don't worry you are going to get a tcs exam portal itself so whatever you see in your tcs exam center similar kind of portal you are going to get for this a test series as well okay so right so you can use the mock test here so five mock tests are there so please try to attempt those five mock tests so you can use this sb100 to get 100 rupees off so here it will be a 300 i will update not that okay so you will get this a test series at just 300 rupees so this is about how to prepare for sbso exam for the next 10 days so first thing is that go through the notes if you have your own notes so you can go through that not necessary you have to follow my notes only but for cloud computing i will suggest you to follow my notes only and for other topics you can follow your own notes or whatever the notes i have provided that thing you have to follow plus previous year gate questions and isro question but you have to see the syllabus first and based on that syllabus only for those topics only you have to solve the questions and that is one mark question of gate exam so so notes plus previous year question plus this test series will be good enough for the next 10 days okay so you can plan your 10 days for the preparation and if you have not enrolled in the test series so five tests are there so try to give the test alternate days so first you test one then analyze that what are the questions you have left or you have skipped the question due to time constraint and what are the your weak topics so you are going to get a complete report after this uh, test like after this mock after this mock test you can analyze your exam as well okay so first give the test try to analyze that try to analyze which topic you found difficult again revise the notes next day again revise again go through all the materials and again next day you have to give the test so 10 days are there five test is there so every alternate day you have to give the test so this is a plan for next 10 days okay so that's it from my side i hope you found this video helpful so if you like this particular video please hit a like button and subscribe to my youtube channel so that's it from my side if you have any question you can just simply comment below thank you